Hi, I'm Tony Vernetti, the president and founder of Feds Protection. I am excited that you are here for our quick five minute presentation on professional liability insurance for federal employees. I founded Feds over 13 years ago on a platform of education because it was my experience, both working in the federal government as an attorney and in my private law practice, just how cost prohibitive quality legal representation was for the average everyday federal employee. So again, this will be a quick five minute overview on professional liability insurance. There are more detailed webinars available on our website. So we would also encourage you to check those out at fedsprotection.com. So let's jump right into it. Professional liability insurance for federal employees is necessary for three distinct exposures you have. One are administrative and disciplinary matters. So this is any investigation involving you that could result in a disciplinary action or a personnel action against you would be covered by a PLI policy. So this is any Office of Inspector General investigation, any Office of Special Counsel, whistleblower retaliation investigation, somebody files an EEO complaint against you, any HR or management directed investigation that could result in a personnel action against you is going to be covered. We also cover congressional investigations. We also cover state bar and medical bar proceedings. Okay, Anything that could result in a professional action against you would be covered. We would assign an attorney to defend throughout the investigation, what I call cradle to grave, up until the conclusion of it. And in an unfortunate event, there is an action taken against you. We would defend both at the agency level and in any appeals that you may have. The next coverage area are lawsuits. You do not have absolute immunity for personal capacity lawsuits like you do for lawsuits under the Federal Tort Claims Act. So the policy will provide indemnity protection in the event that you are sued in your personal capacity and there is a judgment entered against you. We have two policy, we have two policy limits available, one million and two million. Also for civil lawsuits, if the Department of Justice declines to represent you, Department of Justice representation is not automatic, okay? It needs to be in the interest of the United States to provide you representation. So when does Department of Justice decline to represent you? Let's say you're being investigated for misconduct for the very same reason that you are being sued. You can see that they're not gonna be on both sides of that. So a PLI policy will assign you an attorney to defend in that personal capacity lawsuit when and if DOJ declines representation. So that's lawsuits. And then the final coverage area are criminal proceedings. Now I know nobody got up and came to work today intending to violate criminal law. However, there is very little you can do wrong in the federal government and not also have it be a violation of Title 18, which is the criminal code. There are plenty of crimes in there that do not require intent as a prerequisite to prove it. Moreover, there is an office called the Office of Public Integrity in most U.S. attorneys' offices that will prosecute federal officials if for no other reason than to set an example for the rest of the government. So those are your three coverage areas. What matters and what doesn't matter? Public perception, even if the information is incomplete or erroneous, public perception matters now more than ever. Okay, you may be ultimately vindicated after being unjustly treated or wrongfully accused of misconduct, but it can be a lonely and an expensive road without a PLI policy in place. Let's talk cost. Hiring an attorney who has experience in representing federal employees will run you anywhere from three to five to $600 an hour. You will spend twice as much for one hour with an attorney than the cost is for your annual policy. We have two policy levels available at 290 for a million dollar limit, 390 for the $2 million limit. And if you are a manager, supervisor, or federal law enforcement officer, your agency is required to reimburse you up to one half of the cost of the policy, okay? So that is an employee benefit that you ought to be taking advantage of. You can buy a policy for an entire career, 
and never use it and just have peace of mind that it was there for you, you probably have spent about $5,000 over your career. That's not gonna change your standard of living when you retire. But if you have to hire your own attorney to defend and you have to pay 50,000, 100,000, 200 or over 200,000 like I've seen federal employees have to do, that is gonna change your standard of living when you retire. That is gonna impact you financially. I cannot you know, emphasize this final point enough, okay? You need, you do not wanna be one of those people that call us after the claim has already happened, okay? The time to get your insurance is not after the National Weather Service names the hurricane. You cannot get in a car accident on Monday and think you can get your insurance, you know, on, on Wednesday and have it cover you. So there are three ways to get enrolled. It takes less than five minutes. You, most people just do it quickly from our website, or if you have more questions, you can just give us a call at 866-955-FEDS. I'd like to thank everybody for their time today. I hope to see you get protected.